All right. So with the introduction out of the way, let's get to an example. We want to find the equation of a parabola with a given focus and directrix. Um, now, we can try to just kind of shove everything in, but it helps to kind of have a picture so you can see what's going on here. So we draw our coordinate system. There we go. So the directrix is y equals 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Where's the focus? The focus is at 1, 2. The focus is here. So x equals 1, y is equal to 2. Okay. So that's the focus. Where's the vertex? Well, the vertex is always halfway between the focus and the directrix, right? So the vertex is here. Okay. So the vertex is going to be at x equals 1, and y is equal to, that's going to be 2 and a half, right? So 5 over 2. Okay? So that's where the vertex is. Uh, also, the parabola opens away from the directrix, right? So we expect it to be opening downwards. Like so. Okay? All right. So we've got a, it's, our parabola is oriented vertically. We have the location of the vertex. We know the focus, we know the directrix. So what can we say? Well, we know that the equation should look something like this, right? We're swapping x and y, so we should have something that looks like uh, y is equal to 1 over 4p times x minus a, uh, h plus k, where h and k are the coordinates of the vertex. So we have those, right? Here's h, here's k. What's p? So now we come back. What is p? p is the distance between the vertex and the focus. What is that distance? One half. p is one half. So 4p, 4p is going to be 2, right? So that means we get the following equation. We get that y is equal to 1 half of x minus 1, okay, plus 5 over 2. Oh, sorry, squared. I always forget the square. Okay. All right. So that's the equation. And we can, we can play around. We can try to make sure that we got the right thing, that it works right. If we put x equal to 1, we get 5 over 2. We get the vertex where it's supposed to be, right? Um, oh, and what am I missing? It's opening downwards. Minus sign, OK? Minus sign in there so it opens downwards. Um, we could play around and try to get like, things like the x and y intercepts, right? If x is equal, let's see. If x is 0, this is 1. 5 halves minus 1 half, we get 4. Um, we get 4 halves, which is 2. So actually, it passes through here, right? So we can, we can work that out. A bit. There's our parabola opening like that. And same thing on the other side. OK. All right. So we can draw the parabola. We can get the equation of the parabola. We're good to go, right? Um, now, the other thing, of course, that you might want to be able to do is if somebody gives you the equation, you want to be able to extract all the information, right? What's the vertex? What's the focus? What's the directrix? Um, we'll try that in the next example.